Let's forget the acrylics or oils. Jason Davis found two artists whose favorite medium is coffee. You certainly have heard the saying, wake up and smell a coffee. It usually applies to coffee brewing in the pot. But as Jason Davis found, two Minnesota artists can have you smelling the coffee that's hanging on the walls. Like many other households around the country, the day begins at the home of Andy Sauer and Angel Sarkala with the preparation of coffee. But the way Angel makes the brew might be a bit strong for most folk, which is okay because this coffee is not for drinking, it's for painting. There you go. It all began when this artistic couple wanted to show off their skills. And we just decided that we'd like to do an art show too, and so we thought we'd want to do something different. Then we saw like a coffee ring or something like that on a napkin, and we thought that was really neat colors, whatever, too, and try to figure out if we could do something with that. Their first attempts at using coffee to produce art didn't work out well. Then we tried coffee beans, and so I was just kind of maybe, you know, drying with coffee bean, and that didn't work, so we'd sand the edge to see if we could get some, you know, grain on there, and that didn't work either. Once they settled on using strong brewed coffee as paint, their work started getting a lot of attention. They kept wondering why all the paintings were brown. And then someone told them, they're like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> they go up to the paintings, they can smell the painting, but <laughs> they make sure it was coffee. So that was pretty amusing to see. <laughs> Angel and Andy currently have their works on show in a store in Two Harbors, Minnesota. It's called The Vanilla Bean. And naturally, it's a coffee shop. Jason Davis, Eyewitness News, on the road, Duluth, Minnesota. <laughs> hey. Don't they look like a fun couple? Yeah. You too. Very talented. Yeah. I like the way they work yeah. together. Yeah.